Nobody has sent me any sort of trailer or any news or anything for The Rock's new film, Black Adam. I, I, something tells me the trailer may not be so great as it said in the screenshots that I was, you know, somebody like sent me when the announcement of Black Adam was first revealed. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. One importance of why Black Adam was so important was because he is like an anti-hero and he had some kind of um, like connection with uh, Shazam. And my bad, I have not seen any of the Shazam films either. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But I guess it's important to understand Shazam before we understand Black Adam. But Black Adam is not like villain villain, you know what I mean? He's like anti-hero so uh, The Rock does some really good films don't get me wrong he's an amazing actor and he's an amazing person like outside of the cameras as far as we know but with him interacting with his fans and stuff I, I love that but when you have The Rock playing somebody that is not really like a hero-ish kind of like character that's gonna kind of go a little bit topsy-turvy now, I think it was The Rock. I, I don't know exactly who he was. I think he was the Scorpion or something like that from the, from the Mummy series or The Mummy Returns or something. That was a villain, and I guess he did semi-ish okay, but he, he excels and he soars in, in roles that require him to play hero. But let's kind of go ahead and jump into Black Adam in three, two, one. And go. Black Adam. What have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but heartache. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. My son it. sacrificed his life to save me. So I'm getting like an Egyptian anti-hero. Like an Egyptian anti-hero-ish. Now, I kneel before no one. It's hard to see a character like war. Black Adam. They're heroes. Oh! I feel the pain in my city wherever I go. Oh, I did not see Hawkman come in. Heroes don't kill people. I wasn't ready for that. Well, I do. <laughs> wow. My vision has shown me the future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. You can be its savior. That's up to you. Thank <laughs> you. Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. like real hype-ish as it like kind of did with like the Batman or the Justice League. Um, I did hype with Hawkman though. I'm, I was actually excited to see to see him come in. That, that was, you know, that was interesting. So we have like an Egyptian sort of god-ish like anti-hero and um, 
because from what it looks into the comics, um, it looks like he was, you know, um, Black Adam was corrupted. So there's going to definitely talk about like a little bit of darkness. There's going to be definitely um, some like corruption with him and just, you know, seeing maybe I think a little bit of like him being um, captured and him losing his son. I think that's going to impact who Black Adam is as a hero. So that's that's going to be new, and it does come out later October, so we have some time. Actually, DC has some time. <laughs> DC has some time to adjust, and Warner Brothers have time to adjust what they need to do in order to um, have the film be perfect. My biggest fear, and I've kind of seen this a little bit with just a few films, not all of them, not all of them, but with just a few films, um, and I think this view might be a little different. Um, I feel like when it comes to like duo of the rock and I'm kind of, I'm really glad I didn't see it in this trailer but with the duo of the rock I'm glad I didn't see um, Kevin Hart because what I've understood and what I've seen from most movies now is we have the rock now let's bring Kevin Hart they're the like the comedic duo partner that we need and I feel like that's movie that's moviegoers not moviegoers but I feel like that's um movie studios movie studios I feel like that's movie studios um safety safety net so I was kind of a little bit worried about seeing the friendship and the partnership between The Rock and Kevin Hart and then how is this going to impact with Black Adam because The Rock is crypto the super dog and the DC super pets and then you also have um, Kevin Hart as the the, the bulldog thing. Um, so it's like, okay, yeah, sure, let's let's go with it. But in a way, I'm glad to see see that it's not in this case. So Black Adam does look like it has a little bit of promise to it. I don't know much about Black Adam, but we'll definitely hopefully dive in to maybe a new segment and I'm working on it right now and I think I'm gonna bring my husband along with this new segment um, and it's gonna be specifically for like um, DC movies Marvel movies mint like any other superhero movies um, it's gonna be like um, something about like let's let's talk before we go or something like that or let's discuss before it's obviously the name is work in progress but um, October 21st, a few days before, we go see Black Adam. I, maybe we might see Black Adam in theaters. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it says first for reviews. But um, we'll talk a little bit about Black Adam before we go, and then we'll just kind of move on from there. So are you guys excited to see Black Adam starring The Rock? And are you interested to in seeing The Rock playing as an anti-hero? Not a villain but an anti-hero. So think of like Venom, for an example. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like this video, subscribe to Cine Lane Reviews, help me make it grow. I wanna see something come out of this. If you wanna be notified for personal videos or all my content, click on the link to click on the bell down below. I also have a Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter where I'll post updates and keep and try to keep up on upcoming content. 250 subscribers. I will review and possibly react if I am allowed to when Blackbirds Fly. The producer and writer is Jimmy Screamer Claus and he is responsible for when the dead go to die. So 250 subscribers and that is going to be what we'll do next. Look forward to that and we will see you guys in another day. Bye!